Everyone needs some love, even toasters, and I will show you that. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Marlos here and welcome to my channel. If you are looking for worth checking games, don't forget to subscribe. And now let's start video. Okay, let's go. Do you ever wonder about your home equipment secret everyday problems? No? Here is toaster defense that is have premiere now. So toaster defense is combination between tower defense genre and platformers because we play as Ivan which is a toaster oven and everything was peaceful and fun until evil computer didn't fall in love with Tina a small cute toaster computer was sitting all the time in one place and unfortunately he was able to see the kitchen watching Tina and her life together with Ivan because yes Tina is Evan's girlfriend. <laughs> As Lucy takes him over, he started to create robots and send them to destroy Tina. Because if he can't have her, nobody can. Seriously, what the fuck? Toaster defense gives us control over Ivan and now we have to defend Tina. Like in tower defense games, we can use towers, heroes played places to fight, but our hero can do his job too. Because we can shoot with the warm toasters like from Machine Gun, we can dash dealing damage, and we can jump on their heads like in Super Mario. Here we go! Game is created by small developer Wushido and also fellow YouTuber, and this is first commercial game of that creator. It can have its better and less polished things that I will talk about in a second. Besides that, I had pleasure to spend some time with the title. Anyway, I on it's one of the hardest tower defense games I've played to this day. Additionally, I was playing this game on Xbox controller because it was easier for me. And controller support works very well, to be honest. Toaster defense is challenging and requires from you to obtain some strategy. Because we can use help of hammers, lamps and fans to fight with robots, but they don't do that much. We can upgrade them, but they cost a lot to do it, and mostly we have still, as even, to do proper job defending Tina. Even in some levels, we only can fight by ourselves. In my opinion, game can have a little bit problem reaching bigger audience because it doesn't explain game mechanics too well. Walking and shooting toast to enemies would be self-explanatory. Fortunately, on loading screen, you have information on what the buttons do. Because in game, even in first level, there is a lack of information for it. And you have to perform few jumps, dashes and target hits with toast. Of course, it can be changed in few first patches, so this isn't that problem. Going forward, our hero have few hearts points. And if we will be unlucky getting in contact with enemy, then we will lose it. And Tina, after every few waves, can give us additional health. But in case we were good enough to not lose a single heart, Tina will reward us with cash bonus. And that is even more important because upgrades cost a lot. And enemies doesn't give too much money. Also, you can give one heart to Tina healing her. But here, strategy will be to wait until small toaster will be on very low health. Because using heal will replenish entire bar, anyway. In some levels, even this will be whole strategy to survive all waves. And in case talking about money from enemies, we have combo meter. The higher the combo, the better chance to get more cash. At least that was my perspective. And next thing is that if you even use help from hammers, lamps and fans, you don't know what they are doing unless you try it. It's half easy because hammers just smash and deals damage, fans slow down enemies and lamps are kinda problematic for me. They do damage to nearly all enemies like hammer but I don't know if it's stronger or weaker. Upgrading all helpers gives them small range and damage boost. In another pop, you know this acronym from... Maybe that was entire set in mind. To make game hard, less tower defense, more like action platformer. One of coolest things is that for every map stage, 
or endless mode, you obtain score points. And here I had small glitch that in two maps I didn't got any points at all. But anyway, depends of your score, you obtain like toast points on customized event in various skins and hats. My favorite is of course this one setup. And if you wonder that customizing anything that's gonna give you additional boost or something, uh, you have to just play better. Sometimes it can be frustrating to beat some levels, but with some good thinking, you will get it. Along with stages, you will gonna fight with various enemies. At start, you will fight with basic robot like green shroom guy. The next will be red, small robot with drills. They are weaker, but you can't jump on them. Real problems start with blue, bigger shroom guys, because they have three times more health than green guys. But along the way, hammers can help a little bit. Next one is orange robot dudes, whose role is to destroy our helpers. But they also have a lot of health. And there is also like a fifth enemy robot something, but I never reached him. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, still game needs few fixes and tweaks, but it's one of that I was enjoying playing. It wasn't just reskin based tower defense from mobiles, but something more challenging. Not everyone will be fan of it, but toaster defense is game worth checking if you like this type of games. And as for me, thank you very much for spending your time and watching this video. And if you are looking for more videos about cool and worth checking in the games, don't forget to subscribe. See ya. Bye.